Niagara Falls, one of Canada's greatest tourist destinations. The city alone attracts thousands of visitors a week, a majority of them coming through Buffalo. As the country shares its border with the United States, tourists come in flocks to enjoy a weekend of bliss, attractions, and good entertainment. But for some, it's home. It's been nearly 10 years since this part of the world has witnessed a live boxing event. And on June 30th, Canada, along with the world of boxing, will finally get to. This is a Global Legacy Boxing Presentation. This is Golden Access. It's been a full year since former WBC welterweight champion Phil LoGreco got in the ring. He's had 30 bouts with only three losses, two of which came from top welterweight contender Sean Porter and current IBF champion Errol Spence. Today, he is preparing for a bout which is not only important to his own career and legacy, but for the city which he calls home. What's so big about the falls? What you want? You want restaurants? You want nightclubs? You want strip clubs? You want bars? You want good sceneries? You want to gamble? You want to, what is it you, that you want to do we have over here in a small town Niagara Falls? That's why Niagara Falls is so great. And it's a hidden gem and I will expose it to the boxing world. Canada is going to follow the rest of the world. The rest of the world is seeing a resurgence of boxing that we've never seen before. And what's not to love about Niagara Falls? You got great food, great restaurants, great wineries, wonderful for families. The challenger, Jesus the Panther Gorilla. This Mexican born fighter is coming off a victory of his own and is hoping to make a name for himself outside of his country. If anything, the one punch is going to come on him because we don't know about him. But we know that we're, we're fit, ready, fight ready. The belief is that talent, by itself, is nothing. What comes with camp is an assortment of extreme physical discipline, a focused diet, and a tireless daily regimen. What attracted me to Phil is just his aggressive personality. He wants to attack everything. Even in training, it's like go, go, go. He don't want to stop. Training camps are generally an intimate setting between the trainer and his fighter. And unless you're Canadian Olympian gold medalist Ben Johnson, camps are usually closed to the public. <laughs> if there's one thing Phil is more passionate and devoted to, it's family. The 32-year-old Canadian-born Italian takes great pride in his heritage, nicknaming himself the Italian Sensation. Well, first of all, Italians are all over the world, all over. Ever since World War I, World War II, we started, we immigrated everywhere. I've been all over the world. I've traveled all over the world. I've been a world warrior basically since I was a teen. It's like I get that extra um, credit. I'm since I, the Italian Sensation was born, I guess. Logreco is the son of immigrant parents, and like all migrants, came to Canada for a better future for their children. Back in 93, we were living in it, and my father was good. And the town that I'm from is near, it's called Corleone, the famous Corleone town. And in the 1990s, early 90s, my town was very famous for a lot, there was a, there was a lot of mob, mafia, corruption, there was a lot of um, organized crime. And it was a very, very, very terrible, terrible, terrible time in my town. And my father decided to pack up his bags and leave. And he came back to Canada at the age of 50, 50, to start all over again. That's what I call a man with balls. That's what I call a man that knows how to carry a family, no matter what. I mean, the only game plan at the end of the day it's to win. You know, Phil is coming home for the first time in Niagara Falls and we want his, his people, his fans, his family to see 
a win, to see a victory, to see him perform. That's, that's the only game plan right now. Is it fame? Is it legacy? Is it money? You know, with a boxer, there's one thing they all have in common. They have this desire, it's in their DNA. Phil Greco not go for a knockout? I mean, that's like, that's like saying there is no moon. June 30th, Niagara Falls will embrace a first-of-its-kind event in over a decade when two fighters come face-to-face -face in search of their greatest victory. Catch Philo Greco versus Jesus Girola on June 30th at the Scotiabank Theater in Niagara Falls. Then, experience a first-of-its-kind same-day edit with Lo Greco versus Girola, the epilogue.